from an investigation perspective for for let's say a younger colleagues if a patient with instability does come to the opd a recurrent dislocator of a shoulder a typical age group a 22 year old boy has had 3 to 4 episodes of dislocation what is your investigation of choice other than a plain x ray do you always do an mri and a ct one with the first dislocation and in a recurrent scenario and do you do only mri or do you do only ct so nilesh i will almost always if it has been traumatic or relatively traumatic some kind of overhead continuous activity has been going on for years together some trauma i'll always start with ct um <clears throat> of course you know then it becomes very difficult to do mri in most of the setup unless or until you have a tie up with radiologist where he gives a mri plus ct to you i do the mri only when i find absolutely no ct finding it's like you know your patient has been recurrently dislocating but you don't find a bone loss on either side then i am amazed that there is something else then i need definitely an mri but almost always i have gone ahead with the ct and i have never regretted that why i did not ask for mri so for me my investigation of choice is always ct in a rec-